Hey guys, so I thought it's about time for another product review. I was riding around with this backpack. I've um, been using it a lot recently because of uh, the weather. Um, typically, I just use um, a normal backpack when I ride, but um, this is my only waterproof backpack. And well, before I actually before I start, I just wanted to say that I realized um, the past four videos before this one, I was using YouTube um, Live to record those videos and I noticed the quality when you do that is really bad. So from now on, I'm gonna skip doing the live um, videos and just record um, with my phone and then just upload it later because the quality is like better, just way better than, than using um, YouTube, the YouTube um, video live recording. So anyways, this is the product review for the Kriga R30 motorcycle backpack. So there you go, it's the R30. This backpack is a pretty solid backpack. I've had it for a year um, because I was thinking um, when I first started riding, it was mostly to commute and my bike i have a my first bike is a um duke 390 2016 ktm and i it took me a while to put a top case on it just because i i didn't like how it looks it's very functional but it just it looks weird like with the top case so i was just lugging around this backpack everywhere i was using it to uh, get groceries um I'm assuming it says R30 because um, I can't remember all the specific details, but I was assuming it's because um, it's a 30 liter bag. It actually, it um, it's it has a waterproof lining inside that you can take out with Velcro. You can remove it completely, and you can wash the inside. Actually. Um, I used it so much for grocery shopping in the beginning that I actually um, spilled something in there before I washed it off and, and um, it's as good as new. So this lining is waterproof. The rest of the backpack is just water resistant. So if it's actually, if it's raining, anything you put in the outer pocket, these two zippered pockets here, which is pretty uh, big compartments. So the main compartment, there's one main compartment that's just, um, there's nothing inside, you know, like no, nothing, uh, sorry, there's, you can put a, uh, what do you call that, the camelback, the, the camelback uh, water pack, you can put it in, there's a sleeve for it in here. The bag is like all black, so it's really hard to see. But there's a sleeve for it here, and you can. Uh, where is that? Thing? It goes out this way. Um, I actually put this Velcro strap here to clip the the mouthpiece of the Camelback. And anyways, that's that. I'm trying to see if I'm missing anything here. Nope. So, yeah, it has one big compartment. It has a back protector. This is really, um, what do you call that? Sturdy. <laughs> really stiff and sturdy. So, um, if you're not wearing a back protector, this basically acts as your back protector. And, like I said, two big secondary compartments. So this, like I said, is not waterproof and this is also not waterproof. So the bottom part has, um, I don't know why, but this one opens more, like all the way from the bottom and then to the middle part. But the second, the second um, compartment up top is only open, opens halfway. Uh, here, I'm gonna zip this 
back up. Also, this function here, I am, like I said, I'm not really sure what the purpose, why this one um, comes off completely and these ones up here doesn't. Anyways, this backpack is really big, but um, I'll show you guys. Let me put this lining back in here real quick. And then I'll show you guys, I'll pack this backpack with some pillows, just so you see how big it actually gets. Okay, so I put one couch pillow in there. I'm gonna try to see if I can stuff another one in. dry bag you just roll it one two Ugh. and it has these locks on the side and the other one on the other side sorry there you go you know the thing is though when it's really full it's kind of difficult to reach the middle part of this um where you lock these latches in place. Um, just want to let you guys know that. And this here is adjustable. So you can also do this. So there's three closure latches. And um, these straps, you can extend it or and you or you can cinch it. There's one, one on the top, two and three. So one, two, three, four, five, six. Here. Uh, there. So cinch this one and the second one and the third one. Um, I like this. These, these things here that holds the strap so it's not flapping in the wind when you're riding yeah it's it has it on on every single place where there's a strap there you go um i'll post the link of where i got this uh of where to get this bag in the description along with my other motorcycle gear in case you guys are interested there and one thing i would say though is um i'm a small person so five four and 116 pounds and this bag is meant to be worn when you have gear on so if you're actually just using it as a regular backpack especially for me it doesn't it's not comfortable at all like i'd rather not use it unless i'm riding and i have my gear on because um, this is me wearing it right now and you can adjust the sides you can pull back to extend it but for me it's all the way all the way through already but there's still a lot of space I don't know if you can see it, but I'm gonna try it. There you go. See, that's that's a lot of space. So it's not very comfortable when it's sitting on my back. Right now it's okay because it only has pillows in it, but if it's not pillows, it's really not comfortable. I've tried it because I wanted to bring it, I wanted to use it as my travel bag, but it's not really that comfortable without motorcycle gear for me. But I'm gonna show you guys. So this is what it looks like. I like this part. The seat belt sort of feeling that clicks on. And the fact that it's um, regular backpacks, the straps go um, lower more. This is, it kind of just, um, uh, how do you say that? Like it goes up steeper. I'll show you guys what I mean. So 
Mm. And by the way, this strap is, the whole strap is highly adjustable. So right now, it's on the smallest setting, but there's room to expand it. So there's a lot of room to expand it actually. Most of the strap is, for me, I moved it down inside the backpack because I don't want it to be longer. You have to, like all these straps here, you have to basically um, adjust it to your size. So, so see, usually um, when you're wearing gear, and you're trying to put on a regular backpack. I think you guys know what I'm talking about. The straps are usually flimsy, so it's kind of difficult. You can maybe get one on, but the other one, you're like, oh, you know, where is it? But this one, it's so easy, it just goes in. Like, the easiest backpack to put on when you're riding a motorcycle. And, like I said, look, it's, the, the latches are right here on the chest nothing that's pinching here and it's basically the strap is um lining the rib cage it doesn't go to the stomach and there's no excess straps you and you can move this forward to tighten the uh, backpack so it's more secure so see it's not moving around too much and as you can see there's very little slack i don't feel it at all when i'm wearing gear um and when you're riding unless the backpack is really heavy um with normal stuff you know school books and you know nothing too heavy you don't feel that you're wearing anything at all you don't feel the backpack like uh sometimes i forget that i have the backpack on it's very comfortable it sits just right and it it doesn't weigh weigh you back it doesn't move too much on your back and um it's nice that it has the back protector so um, you know if you don't have a back protector already and then at least you have one that's on your backpack and I'm gonna show you guys how to cinch it uh, what how it looks like when it's super small so for me this is my this is my number one choice for motorcycle backpack. I looked at other brands and other types, but to be honest, this for the price and for the size, it's perfect because like I said, um, it can expand a lot. This is pillow number one. <sighs> pillow number two. I just realized my wrist still hurts after doing that. Okay, so. almost nothing uh, so it basically cinches into like the tiniest flattest bag you'll ever have um, and I'm going to weigh it just to show you guys how heavy it is by itself. It is heavier than a normal backpack because it has the back protector and it, all of these, um, the hip, quote unquote hip belts, not really on your hip, but the hip part, this, the shoulder strap part, they're all really rigid and um, full of padding. Um, basically, this backpack looks like it's meant to take a few impacts. 
So with that said, it's not as light as a typical, you know, school bag, school backpack. Um, okay, length is about, let's see. It's about like 22 and a half inches. Let me see, hold on. It's hard to tell because it's a little curved, so. I want to make sure I'm giving you guys the right information. Definitely carry on size if you're worried about that. Definitely carry on size. Um, at the smallest measurement, it's 19 and a half. And, but to be safe, just say 21, 21 inches. Um, when it's fully packed, it's probably, yeah, 21. 21 lengthwise. And oops, go for the width is twelve inches. Yep, twelve inches for the width. Uh, right. And the thickness, obviously, it will depend on. If you load it up fully, and let me just show you guys that option. I didn't even measure it, but the side here. Oops. Seven inches. And now I'm gonna measure it. I mean, sorry, I'm gonna, I'm going to weigh it. Okay. So this bag weighs four pounds on its own without anything loaded into it. So it's a pretty heavy backpack, actually. I mean, compared to um, my travel bag, weighs like a pound or less. Um, but like I said, it's very durable. Um, the best motorcycle backpack, in my opinion. I've seen a few. I really, like for me, the size, you know, I I don't want to have like, a, um, I don't know if you guys have been watching my other videos, but I'm a very minimalist person. I don't want to have a lot of bags for different purposes. I try to get just one, one type of bag that will work for anything you know one type of shoe you know like stuff like that i just don't want to have too many things of uh you know too many things in general so for me this works if you only want one motorcycle backpack then start with this because at least you have the option to to make it into a small bag or expand it or whatever it's very comfortable to wear on long rides and it's waterproof and it's very durable and Obviously, if you know the brand Kriga, it's a really, really good motorcycle brand. Um, and I hope that helps. I think I've covered everything. Um, so this is the Kriga R30. I, I'll, like I said, I'll post a link on um, the description below of where to get it. And um, it's worth the investment. So hope that's good information. And I'll see you guys on my next video.